still on Ghana. How is it possible? Maybe somebody can explain to me. Do you guys know that some pregnant women are taking medications to bleach the skin of their unborn babies? I, I, it, honestly, the first time I heard this story, I was like, no, 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 ah, this cannot be true. But apparently, there is a skin lightening pill known as Glutathione, which a lot of women are now taking to lighten the skin of their unborn babies. And I'm like, what the heck? Who came up with this kind of idea? Like, seriously, my Ghanaian people, we must do something about it. This is dangerous. Sadly, skin bleaching is not just common in Ghana. It happens in so many countries. And Nigeria is equally as bad. In a marketing leg businesses booming in shops selling skin lightening products according to the World Health Organization eight out of ten women in Nigeria use skin lightening products the world's highest percentage but it's not only women who are obsessed with bleaching their skins men too are involved in the practice but you know forget about the side effects that a lot of people know especially of chemical bleaching like the thinning of the skin as well as uneven color redness intense irritation dark gray spots on the skin skin cancer kidney damage liver damage forget about all that i think that women especially young women as well as some men i think we all need to be more deliberate as to who we allow to influence our perception of ourselves i'm trying to say that be careful who you listen to in this age when african musicians continue to feature light-skinned women as the epitome of beauty and when the beautiful women in african movies are usually light-skinned and when some men look down on dark-skinned women and then they see a light-skinned woman and their eyes to get big my dear sisters if you are dark-skinned please no matter what anybody tells you please allow me to be the one to remind you today that you are beautiful that you are perfect, you're perfect, you're enough, and you're powerful just the way you are. You have everything that you need to be great. Your skin color doesn't define you, and you know, the best you can be is who you are. If you bleach in order to please people, you still will not be able to please them because tomorrow they will find something else. They may say your nose is big, your stomach is big, whatever. I'm not telling anyone how to live their lives. You know, everybody is free to make their own decision. But personally, I think that we Africans, I don't think we had any any problems with the color of our skin until colonization unfortunately I think it went from wow these people are different from us to you know this is how you have to look like in order to be considered beautiful a lot of young people nowadays have low self-esteem because of how they were born and it shouldn't be like that if only you know the power that you have by virtue of who you are you won't even sweat it for one day you guys know I don't know much guess what I'm just giving a rest.